Well, good afternoon. I just got off work. It was a long commute home. I thought I'd play the bard real quick. I have to do a lot of studying tonight, so um, I'm just going to do a quick session. I was reading comments. Someone wanted to do um, some kiting, so let's see if I have enough time to make a pool before it's 5 p.m. Let's see if I can do it real fast. Let's get my silos going, and I'll see if I can round these up before it gets dark. I'm just going to start pulling one, and then I'm just going to run them across to all these other guys. So we got to hurry. These aren't going to give us a lot. Oops, what's going on? Why is my silos running out? Just make a quick uh, drive-by. There we go. Oh, he's on me. It's going to get dark super soon. Let's hurry up. Come on, dogs. Quickly, it's going to turn dark. They're all going to disappear on me. Oh. Hurry, 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 hurry. I'm pinching it. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this level here, and then I'm going to run to a new location. I, I think maybe Lake of Ville Omen, but that's a long run. Super long run. Oh yeah, you got him. Oh gosh, the mouse the mouse went off the uh, game window, and I was doing the spin around thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry! It's getting dark. Oh, there's another one. Come on, get him! All right, this last one. We gotta round him. I don't care if you hit me. I gotta hurry and round him up. Playing dangerously. Um, maybe they're rounded up good enough. One more pass. Let's just put on my instrument now. Um, I got one targeted now. <clears throat> yeah, they're all kind of ooh I'm 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 playing dangerously right now. Oh my god, look how close they're getting to me. That's so risky. Don't do this. If I would have got hit, that would have been Oh my god, look how close I'm getting. Oh, I'm playing dangerous. Okay. They're they're so close to me right now. I'm just in a hurry though. So um, better to be, it's better to play safe than sorry, but I'm, I'm so afraid that it's going to turn dark and they're all going to disappear when they're like, got 15% life. <clears throat> so I'm kind of in a hurry to kill these guys. One of them's over here. Why is that? It doesn't matter. I'll level off this pack and then I'm going to head out. We'll head out and we'll go to a new location. And then after I do this, I'm thinking about since I go to Kunark, I don't know if I want to run to Kunark right now because it'll take so long. Um, but if I run to Kunark, I can maybe try to get some items over there. There's some decent weapons and there won't be any competition. I'll pick up that invisibility song first and I can go down and... Uh, what's the dungeon over there? Kern's Tower, and I can maybe get the Ixar Berserker Club. I have to check and make sure that bards can use it. I'm not really sure, but that's just an idea that was running through my head. Um, I could just kill the, the guy down there, but again, I'm so short of time, so will I be able to do it? I don't know. Hurry up and die, please. Hurry up and die. So I... <clears throat> Um, I'm, I'm wondering if this is the most efficient way to pull. I don't know. I mean, kite. I'm going to try to melee that last guy. Come on, down to 10%. Please hurry. Watch them all disappear like in a, in, in a second. Okay. Oh no, the wolf's on me. Hurry up and die. Okay. There we go. 
I just wanted to make sure I get them before it turned dark. Come on, get the loot. So, ding level 21. We're going to head out of here now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate dinner too. I stopped by Bucky's and got these drinks. They're amazing. They're called C4 Energy and it's a strawberry... It's a Starburst cherry flavor. Really good. And I ate this overpriced burrito, bean burrito. Who's yelling garish? How goes the tailoring? Oh. So some guy must be fighting those um, spiders over there. So, so we're now 2% of our way into this level. Tell you what, I'll stick around and do one more pull uh, when it turns dark. We'll get the guys that are... Oh, there's somebody over here. Look at this guy. We can have it. Let's do a little dance for him. Ooh. You can have it. Well, I'm just going to head out then. I mean, I was going to maybe do one more pull just to see about the ones at night. Okay, so I'm healing up. Let's put on Celos because it's the fast song and I need to work on my percussion again. So level 21. I need a new place to hunt. The problem with getting um, a lot of these guys is they run at different speeds. So it's really, it's just so much more easy and efficient to get the same mob type. <clears throat> so I could gather a lot of chasm crawlers perhaps. And uh, what else is there that, that that's good for kiting? I think, uh, I'm not sure what zone would be a good one for this. But a lot of these wolves run fast and a lot of the griffins have a different run speed. Um, I don't know trying to think I'm talking to the computer do you guys can you guys think of any good places to go kite um, I mean I can get a bunch of Griffins I guess what do you say I grab a bunch of those Griffins let me go let me take a break up here go to the bathroom and then maybe I'll see if there's enough Griffins in this zone and we'll round up as many Griffins as I can find and we'll just see if that um, is a good way to do it so give me a second let me go here and I gotta go to the bathroom as soon as I start recording, I have to go to the bathroom every time. It never fails. It would be interesting to get spiders. The problem with spiders is that their hitbox is somewhere within the body of their legs. I mean, not the legs, but the body within the legs, in the center of their legs. So, I don't know. Anyways, the, the kiting way I'm doing it is pretty damn easy. Um, as long as you're not pulling more than... You can pull as many as you want to do. I mean, I guess 20 plus, but if you're only pulling like 10, 15 things, you know, even if you get hit, you might not die necessarily if you're pulling a bunch of blues. But let me take a break here and go to the bathroom. I'm back, guys. Um, geez, I got a dry mouth. <clears throat> There'll be a lot of throat clearing. I'm sorry about that. I got dry mouth from a medication I took today, and I just ate some food, and it was very dry. So I'm drinking a, a this beverage. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry about the throat clearing. I really am. I've been dealing with it all day long. Uh, so I'm now doing 11 damage with my boastful bellows. Ooh, Celos, get back on, please. So these spiders, I don't know if they're social aggroers. Um, but I thought... I don't like to hit box with these guys at all, but let's see if they are social aggro. If they are, it'll make it real easy to round up. Come on. Either that or I have to do like bellows on them. Oh, they're not social aggro. Dash, dash, burn it. Okay. Don't stun me, please. Uh, 
is a pain. This is a pain. Come on. Oh, I, I'm going to leave here. There's a player out here. Huh. I think that guy's name is Garish. I checked who earlier. <clears throat> is he a bard? Why is there bards everywhere? Oh, come on. Now I'm going to get hit. <clears throat> he saw me gathering up these things and he gathered one too. What's that about? Anyways, I'm not even going to bother kiting these. I'm just going to leave. It's not worth kiting three things. Especially when there's another guy grabbing spiders. Like seriously, I'm on red server here. You can have them, guy. Take them. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, try to kite some stuff. <clears throat> and please, be patient with me with this throat clearing. I've got cotton mouth it's so bad. And I'm drinking a C4. I just ate um, this terrible stale kolache. If you don't know what kolaches are, we eat them in Texas. It's like a pastry that can have fruit or sausage and cheese in it. It's sort of like a sausage roll. But the bread they use for them is a really soft roll. If you've ever eaten at Ryan or Golden Corral, those rolls that they serve, it's sort of like a roll like that. <clears throat> okay, so. I'm going to be uh, running over to South Karanas, and unfortunately it'll be dark by the time we get there. Hopefully Garish stays there and kites in East Karanas. Let's take a look. Now there's a guy named Isotope in this zone, and he's also in no res. Hope Isotope isn't a bard. I mean, there seems to be a lot of bards on Red Server. P99. So I'm looking at the different named, our different grizzlies, looking for a named one. You could run around and grab all of the beetles, but half of the beetles don't give me any experience or don't give me good XP, so it's not worth it. We're sort of in that bad level range where... The only thing that's going to give you experience is scythe and boar beetles, but they're so spread out. And on top of that, there's things in here that can run at different speeds, like griffins and these giants. And, and there's those big griffins, and I don't know. It's just not worth it to me to kite in this zone. Too much variety of mobs that are all evenly distributed throughout the entire zone. So what I think I'm going to try to do, and I know these aren't optimal kiting zones, but I'm going to go into South Karanas and we're going to grab a bunch of Aviox. Now the problem with the other mobs, and I'm thinking about centaurs, is they run fast and they've got ranged attacks. So those are off the table. Um, there's not a whole lot of aggressive mobs that'll mess with me. Uh, but some of the Aviox are going to be green and some of the Aviox are going to be yellow red. I'm assuming at my level. So we have to avoid the Avocets and mm, we can grab the Darters and there might be some other ones we can grab. So hopefully there's enough in the zone that we can find that we can make a, an impressive pull with and speed up this level. So that's my goal. I know um, a couple people watching my videos for Bard specifically would like to see more kiting. And uh, you know, you're just gonna have to accept the way I do it. I haven't set up different macros or stop cast things yet. I've got one for a dot song and a run song. It's probably better just to use this window here. 
but I'll keep my run song on for now. And we're gonna run around and grab as many of these as I can. Hopefully we don't grab any of the bad ones. So an egret, that will give XP, so I will get it. And the first one I'm gonna have to grab and the rest will social aggro. Whoa, he hit me from far away. So I'm gonna run around a lot of this zone. And man, if I can find Nari Morok up, I would love to grab him and get those bracelets. So let's do our best to avoid pulling any Avisets, the red. They'll pretty much resist all of our dot songs. So there's another Avis set. It's not looking good so far. But we're gonna head over to KFC, Crispy Chicken, Bird Hut, and I can grab some from there too. So there's the darters are the ones I want. There's a Harrier that's red. I can't get the Harriers either. Okay. Bull elephants. I don't know their speed, so I'm not going to do that. If you're going to spend a lot of time in a zone, I guess it would be worth it just to check the speeds of everything. Uh, centaurs will give us issues, definitely. Oh, there's another egret. Our Avis set. Let's see what this is. A rook. We can get rooks and darters. Those will be blue. Possibly we'll find enough in this zone. <clears throat> but let's not get too far away from... Oh, he's right on my tail. Boastful bellows. Oh, look, there's a there's a, no, a troll over here. There's always a troll fighting tree ants. His name is Boovis. Hello, Boovis, if you ever watch this video, it's a low chance of that, but... Look at that, red server. I've been to three zones and there's been a player in every zone. Boovis is red to me. Hopefully he's not in a range where I have to worry about him attacking me. All right, there's another Harrier. So we've got an Egret. Why is the Egret running fast? Let's run them together and let's test their speeds. Okay, it should be pretty close together. Whoa, look at this egret as fast as heck. Why did they do that? Change of plans. Apparently the egret has a different run speed than the rook. That is dumb. Okay, so kiting in this zone does not seem like a good idea. Are you serious? Okay. All right, so what's the next area? We can go to the over there, Lake of Ill Omen. That's a long run. Where else could I go? Hmm, I can't think of anything good. I mean, we can go to Lake of Ill Omen. That's probably the best thing to do right now. Um, Everfrost Peaks, what a mammoth's con, I wonder. So Shelties are blue, but they're going to be a problem. Okay, what else is there to kite? Hmm. So you can go into Field of Bone and get Burn Eye. What do you guys think about Field of Bone? Getting some Burn Eye. That's really annoying. Egret runs fast and a rook runs slow. Or, or egret and a darter. So the egret and that other one's a rook. Oh well. Those are all green. Hmm, what can I do next? I wonder if you guys are sitting there yelling at me. Go here, go there. So I, I am actually going to... Um, okay, we got Butcher Block. Is there anything there? No.
Free ants are spellcasters. We can't mess with those. Egrets are good, but they're too fast. Okay. Everything is like spread out and everything is also. Okay. So I have an issue too. If I go to if I go to Kunark and I die, I'm gonna have to run back so far. There's Nostrolo. There's Swift Song. There's a Red Harrier. Okay, let's make sure we're going north. Let's turn this song on. Forage since heading south. We need to go north. Yeah, I'm getting hit by egret. Egrets are like fast as hell. Okay. Northeast. Northeast still. Damn, north is this way? It's northwest. So here's north. All right, guys. I'm going to head over to... I wonder if we can do scarecrows. Scarecrows, we have a problem that they can do some kind of fear on you. Oh, that won't work. Scarecrows won't work. Okay, well, let's think of another zone. So the option I have now is Field of Bone for Burry Nye. Uh, Swamp of No Hope has a bunch of uh, Ixar Manslayer stuff. Mm, I'm not sure I could do that. Damn, but where's the uh, thingy? It's this way. There's a Rook, Corsair. Oh well guys, I wasted a lot of time running here. I'm gonna make this a long video though. Um, I've been thinking about getting on my other characters too, like I have Illuminator the Monk Ixar character. I haven't played in a long time. And by the way, it's July, it's June 30th right now. I'm on, I just started my weekend. It's Friday. Today I had a long course to do my PALS. Um, I'm really enjoying my residency program so far. So, for anybody who doesn't know, I just started residency and. I'm still in orientation. We did a day of clinic yesterday, morning of clinic. And since I didn't have full access to patient scheduling on the Epic electronic medical record software, uh, we just shadowed. But next week I'll actually have one or two patients to see in the morning. So I just shadowed a second year resident and uh, I got to see how he does things. He's my mentor as well. What do you guys want to do? Scythe beetles? Is there enough scythe beetles in here to get? Maybe just one pass? I only see one scythe beetle right here. Let's grab it. You don't care about the pincers. pincers. Oh, speed up, please. I wonder if the pincer will even come after me. Like, will he, he won't assist if he's like way below me in levels. Let's take a look. Yeah, he won't even mess with me. So this scythe beetle here is gonna come after me. Let's get two of them so far. Oh, there's another one, that'll be three. These guys are slow. Look how slow they are. Tell you what, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna beat him with my fist. Oh, I turned off auto attack. Never mind. Okay, there's three scythe beetles. They're all happy coming my way. There's four over here. This will be our fourth one. 
Let's see if we can at least get eight. This is going to be a very poor pool. Ugh, come on, hit him. I just wanted to get him coming after me quicker. So there's four scythe beetles and they all con blue. There's not enough griffins to grab. Uh, what else can we grab? Scythe beetles and boar beetles probably. So we'll get this one over here. I'm just gonna run up and tag them. And if I get too far, they'll stop. They'll stop aggroing me, so I have to be careful. Okay. There's the rest of them. There's a pincer. We don't care about a pincer. So I got five of them on me. Six of them on me. Seven of them on me. Nice. This is going to be eight. Eight scythe beetles. Come one, come all scythe beetles, please. All right, I haven't seen any boars. Somebody came through and killed all the boars or something. Oh, another scythe up there in a heel. Right, let's make sure I'm not running out of their range. Look at them all. It's like some horror movie with giant insects. It's the swarm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll have eight up here. So while I'm waiting for them to catch up, I'm gonna do the Hymn of Restoration song. Put on my loot to start raising my skill. Oh, there we go. All right, we got them after us. That's eight. Eight beetles, is that enough or should we look for more? Please be a scythe beetle. I are a pincer. I don't think there's a good place to round them up and do our circles because everything here just wanders in every direction so we got a lot of pincers in this zone ah there's going to be our ninth scythe beetle up here nine of them there's another over there so one here wait where did the other one go one two no just one so here's number nine Make sure we still got them coming after us. Yes, we do. <clears throat> okay, I took damage. Oh, there's 10. Oh, there's 11. There's one up here too. I'll get this one so I don't lose track of them, lose sight of them. We're just gonna tag them and then Okay. There's 11. I think this will be 12. Is there two more? Wow. Crazy amounts of them. I'm actually getting kind of low on health though, so I need to stop hitting them. Start doing my restoration. All right. That's probably like 12 there. Oh, the beetles. Hmm. Hymn of Restoration now. I've got my loot on, so I'm not running that quickly. Pincers. What do we have over here? Pincers. Pincers. Is that a pincer too? Oh, it's a scythe. Oh, there's two more scythes. All right, I better not screw up this pool going to be pretty bad if I do. Let's put on our silos now. 
drums. All right, there's a, ooh, another one. I think we're up to like 14 or 15 now. And there's another over there too. Impressive amount of scythe beetles. Grizzly, get away. All right, put on the silos again. What are you? Boar beetle, let's get this guy as well. All right, let's put on him of restoration. Well, I look for any more stragglers. What do you guys think? Is that enough? Oh, there's a site over here too. I heard a lot of noise. They might be real close to me. Turn on the hymn of restoration again. All right, this, that's enough. Please get on my tail. Oh crap, run, run, run. Stupid thing. Yeah, the problem with these guys is they're actually too slow. All right, that's enough. Let's just start this uh, rounding them up. No more. Okay, I'm gonna do a loop around them real quick to get them tighter. Couple loops around them. All right. I hope I don't screw this up. Yeah, it's a pretty tight circle right there. I'm gonna do it right over here. There is some roamers that can get in the way. but we'll just take our chances. Don't want to accidentally zone out either. Let's, let's go ahead and do one more loop around them. Okay, let's go ahead and start this. I'm afraid to get over there too far because I'll end up zoning out. Oh, there's another scythe beetle. Forget about it. It's got enough. All right, let's find a good spot to do it. Right here sounds like a good spot. All right. I don't know how close I am to the zone line, but they, they're not going to be over there. We'll do it right here on this flat spot. I've never kited in this area. Um, never really kited here, so let's just give it a go. These aren't like my favorite type of mobs to kite either because they're like, they're so large. Their hitboxes are kind of weird sometimes. Let me see if I can target one. There we go. Got one targeted. Okay, I got a couple of them wincing now. I'm going to take it a little slower and more careful. I usually run really tight circles, but I don't want to end up dying right here. Wasting a lot of time. This video is already 35 minutes long, and I'm only pulling a dozen, or about 15 scythe beetles here. So we're 2% of our way in level 21. Let's take a look at what we can get done here. I'm actually not even hitting them, because I'm focusing so much on talking to you guys. All right, let's get them closer now. There we go. The one I targeted hasn't even took damage yet. All right, let's get closer. Closer, please. All right, it's starting to hit a few now. These are very slow mobs. Very slow. I'm not used to taking such tight circles. 
it's what makes it so difficult to kite mobs of different types is because they all have, seem to have different run speeds. Not sure why. Okay, we're gonna have to pull it closer now. There we go. I'm experimenting how close I can get. As long as you can see their pincers, I should be able to hit them, I think. That max zoom. I'm not gonna risk getting them any closer. That damn wolf is gonna get in my kite. And if he hits me and stuns me, I'm dead. So fucking wolf, please leave. All right, we got we got him down to close to half life now. Sixty-two percent. Getting a tighter circle. He's actually regenerated some life. There we go. We're getting really close now. Still not hitting him. I hit a few of them. Kind of get a good feel of like where their hit boxes are, you know, after maybe one or two of these sessions. All right, so I've, I haven't taken any hits, getting quite a few resists, and I'm missing a lot of my note, or a lot of them. So circles have to get tighter. We went from 2% to 6% there. So remember, we started at 2%. Ooh, that was close. I hate the sound they make. Ooh, look how close. It, it seems like that because, you know, you do different angles of the camera. So it seems like they're getting really close to you. It's just you're changing the angles. All right. I don't want that lion in the group. He just happened to be wandering through my kite circle. Come on, guy. Do you really have to do that? Stupid lion. <sighs> Jesus. All right. Wow, we went from 2 to 41%, guys. Isn't that crazy? We still got a few more. Whoa, that was close. Still doing well, I'm not taking any hits. I don't want to grab extra mobs in my circle though. All right, come on, pull them closer. Let's get this over with. Pincers shouldn't matter if he gets in my way. All right, guys, my circles are getting really uh, chaotic because of all these mobs that wander right through my path. And the last thing I want is something that runs quickly to jump out here and uh, stun me. There we go. So let's get them back tight circles again. There we go. Hitting them. A couple of disruptions. Stupid scythe beetle. Come on and join the circle. You never want to leave. You just want to stand in our way. Okay, guys, where are we at now? A couple more are dying. Wow, this is really uh, interesting. Just doing figure eights through trees and... <laughs> it's not hard to do, it's just... Eh. Wow, I'm going to gain this whole level here? Guys, you're going to see me go from level 21 to 22 in one pull of some damn scythe beetles. And honestly, um, I think I'm just going <laughs> to finish the episode at level 22 because I don't want to gain too many levels without meleeing because I don't want my melee uh, combat skills to get way out of, like, or fall behind. Hey, Lion, you want to just walk through my way? Thank you. We're going to have to, we're going to have to um, strafe, circle the opposite direction. Brass Instruments is only 57. Wow. Please go up. We did it. Guys, I went from 2% of level 21 to 13% of level 22. Now, honestly, did that feel like cheating? Yes, that felt like cheating. It almost felt like I'm exploiting some poorly planned game mechanics that they didn't anticipate anybody doing. But somehow this became 
part of the game, part of a class. Do I agree with it? Well, 